today we're looking at the interior of the Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. Now it's time to see the part where the Summit trim level really shines, the interior. And this is exactly why you buy a Summit or Summit Reserve. Starting with the door panel, super fancy, super premium, all of those words. You have this lovely open pour wood, two person memory seats, that special button is for later. And you will have quilted leather, nice leather on the arm rest, and you have all of your switch gear right there. Down below, this will be composed of some hard plastic, and you could easily put four bags of classic waste chips and a bottle of Coke to wash it down. Today we have the high performance 19 speaker Macintosh audio system. One of those 19 speakers are located right here. And this summit badge down here will eliminate at night. Coming down to our seat adjustments, these are exactly 16 way power adjusting, including bolster, thigh extender, and four ways of lumbar. And coming to the seats, uh, high end Palermo leather seats, absolutely love them. Quilted leather on the bolsters, Senate branding right here. This is in this grayish color. Um, I prefer the tan, whatever that is called. All right, right off the bat, super fancy. I love this steering wheel. It has very nice leather. I love the stitching detail and this wood trim that runs at the bottom. And the buttons, these are for the gauge clusters and to hang up or call on the phone. And the right side is for the cruise control. You will have rain sensing wipers for the front. All right. Let's take a look at the gauge clusters. 12.3 inch, completely digital display, no half analog or any of that stuff. You have plenty of adjustments. Let's see. Press OK. I'm pressing OK. All right, that doesn't seem to be doing anything and there we go you do have night vision which is really cool at night it will eliminate animals anything like that so yeah okay get ready because the materials are going to blow your mind and do keep in mind this is a Jeep Jeep is no luxury brand but that's all about to change right here. Upper dash, soft touch leather red. Right here, you have this beautiful open pour wood with some aluminum. This part is composed of some hard touch plastic and more of that wood trim will run through there. This part is composed of piano black. And you see that lid is too. Okay. Now let's take a look at some interior storage. So if you pull up this first lid, you'll see you have some uh, space here. You could put a couple uh, pouches of Skittles. Not um, a large amount, but if you open up the big boy, you've got a lot of space in here. So this is about how far it goes. Nice felt lining. And if you're ready for more, pop that lid open. Got a wireless phone charger. However, if you don't have a compatible phone, you could turn that off and put lots of Skittles here. You can see I'm into Skittles. Um, you can line it all up. Two USB-A's, two USB-C's, aux jack, and a 12 volt power outlet. Not sure who uses those these days. And an HDMI port for um, the front passenger screen We'll get to that a little bit later And you could control your air suspension right there Let's put it up to level 2 And you have all of your drive modes right there So piano black, not a big fan because 
well, if you turn this, it will leave some scratches, it attracts dust, this leaves a glare, it's really unpleasant. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our backup camera. So, as you can see, 360 display, very high resolution, you need this on a Jeep, because you're going to be going off-roading in one. You see, active trajectory, and let's see here, you can do the rear cross path view, the front cross path view, that would just give you a very wide angle, and the normal front camera, put it back into park, you can actually go and see the cameras from there, and you can clean the camera, watch this, it will spray a liquid at it, or will it? I'm pretty sure we're out of wiper fluid. Not cool. Okay, so if we were, uh, if we did have wiper fluid, it would clean the camera, squirting a fluid at it. But apparently we are out of wiper fluid, so we'll just X that out. And, well, you have all of your stuff right here. And as you can see, we are transitioning into you connect five. All right, so you can actually customize your home screen. Let's do that right now. I'll do um, climate for first widget, and then second widget. I'll do. Let's see. What should I do? I'll do suspension. That looks pretty cool. You can swipe back and forth, which is nice. And then go to media, you can uh, select an Android Auto or Apple CarPlay device. Comfort, this is the one I've been waiting for. You can either control your climate control here or on the uh, little knobs or the little switches here. You can control fan speed and You'll have dual zone up here and uh, three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, we'll turn on ventilated seats. It is super hot out here today and well, yeah, but you see that right there? Massage. Currently I'm getting a lower back massage. I'm going to turn that, I'm, tr I'm turning on waterfall right now. So, this can all be disabled by the push of that button. Okay, now it's off. Push it again. It's on again. You do have this for the driver and front passenger, which is really nice. And let's see, you have uh, Chrysler's latest navigation. We just talked about that. Apps. Okay. So, all of your apps are here. You have Amazon Alexa. I didn't know Heated Steering Wheel was an app. But, okay. I'll take it. You do have Wi Fi. We uh, didn't get the subscription because we're only going to be in this car once. Well, you can even look at the weather. That's cool. Well, time to move on to something else. You actually can park this car by the push of that button. It will ding a couple times. And, well, it just needs you to switch gears. And that's basically it. But, let's take a look at this rear view mirror. We rarely ever look at the rear view mirror because it's just a mirror. But, on this Jeep Grand Cherokee, it's also a camera. So, can make it a mirror or a camera. Let's say you um, have stacked up a lot of stuff in the cargo area or you have some tall passengers. Flip of a switch, it turns into a camera. I think that is super cool. And you have a panoramic sunroof to finish things off. All right, guys, time to get on the passenger side of this Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE. So basically the same as the driver's side, 
door panel, exactly the same, just missing some switch gear. Do you have the massage and memory seats for two? That Summit branding will illuminate it at night and you will have the same Palermo leather with 16 ways of power adjusting. This is going to be a more detailed passenger side review because we have a lot to cover. All right, let me go ahead and turn on the ventilated seats and let's go ahead and get into this section. Open pour wood here. This is soft touch plastic. Okay, passenger side materials, not big on it. You can actually hear me scraping my nails on it. But let's look at this. So, you look at your notifications. All right, so these are your settings. You can uh, connect headphones like the new AirPods Max from Apple. Let's see what we've got here. So basically what this is doing is making a second screen so that the passenger doesn't have to distract the driver. Maybe the driver is not very good with maps and he or she needs the map open. So then uh, the front passenger doesn't have to um, go and get something else on this screen and they could just do it here. Let's see if this will work. Okay, no. Anyway, you have a lot of different controls. Let's see. You could actually pair a new device and play video games. I think that is so cool. Wow. Okay. That is really cool. Playing video games on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. You even have your own navigation system. That's really awesome. Okay, this is like the most detailed passenger side review I've done yet, but it's time to get into the second. Part. Okay, this Grand Cherokee is not a small crossover. It's like bigger than normal, and it pays off in the second row and the cargo space. First things first, second row. Door panel, love the materials, the open pour wood, quilted leather. You can lock the doors, unlock the doors. Really nice. Um, storage, not that much. But let's go ahead and see what we've got. You can recline the seats. Um, you can also fold down the seats with that same lever. All right, it's hopping on in. Wow. It's really nice back here. Uh, I've got the sun shades up, so it's a little bit dark. But look at this leg room. Lots of it. I'm about five foot seven. No problem sitting back here um, to make things even better. I could pull up that armrest. And I have a seat back pocket. But this is the real deal. Four zone climate control. So that means that if I got out of the pool, and I'm really cold, I could turn the temperature all the way up. But if the person next to me just got back from a run and he's really hot, you could put it on low. But it's really hot here, so I'm gonna put it back to low. If you get the Summit Reserve model, you will get ventilated seats. We only have heated seats. I'm not using that today. And down here, you will have two USB-A's, two USB-C's, and a home power source. So lots of amenities back here, and this is a nice place to spend time. All right, like I just said, the cargo space will be enormous because of the extra size. And well, let's see how they do. First of all, we'll be equipped with a hands-free power tailgate, Look at that space. First of all, you have a really nice um, carpet lining on the Summit model. And well, you're looking at 37.7 cubic feet of cargo room with that second row up. So 
before we fold down the second row, let me show you what we've got. Got 12 volt power outlets, got a couple hooks, four tie down hooks, uh, a subwoofer, and if you lift this up, you will have a false bottom and a spare tire. And right there is where you can access the charger. And surprisingly, there are no levers or buttons to fold down the second row, like I saw in the Grand Cherokee L where you push a button, second row folds. So I'll have to go and fold down the second row myself. All right, so once you fold down that second row, you're looking at 70.8 cubic feet of cargo room, which I know is class leading or close to class leading. That is a lot of room, you guys. And if you're looking at a crossover, this may be the way to go for the versatility. And it's really weird closing up the trunk. Button is right there. You push it, and then it'll give you two beeps, and then you run out of the way. 